Quoted from Flight Global site, the Sikorsky Boeing SB-1 Defiant flew 205 knots, 380 km per hour, in a flight test on 9 June. The compound coaxial helicopter passed 200 knots for the first time while flying at Sikorsky's West Palm Beach Development Flight Test Center in Florida, Boeing and Sikorsky announced on 16 June. Within a few months, the Sikorsky Boeing team is pushing for the helicopter to top 250 knots, above the U.S. Army's 230 knots cruise speed requirement for the future long-range assault aircraft, FLRAA, program. The Sikorsky Boeing team has logged 18H of flight time on the SB-1, as well as 20H on ground test runs on the helicopter, and 113H on a separate powertrain system test bed, PSTB. The SB-1 is competing against Bell's V-280 Valor Tiltrotor in the U.S. Army's FRLAA program. That aircraft has reached a top speed of 300 knots. The Sikorsky Boeing team argues that the SB-1's advantage over the V-280 is its ability to reverse its pusher propeller and use it as an air brake to slow or quickly stop the compound helicopter. The companies also say the aircraft's rigid main rotor system gives it more control power, making it nimbler. Fell notes that in test flights those features have allowed the rotorcraft to perform aggressive maneuvers. So far, most flight tests have been focused on pushing the top speed envelope, as that is likely to be more challenging than proving the rotorcraft's maneuverability, the companies say. In a powered wind tunnel test, the SB-1 has demonstrated the ability to fly at 250 knots, so the team believe topping that speed is achievable. Flight test speeds will likely be increased by increments of 20 knots per test, depending on the results of testing on the PSTB. Speed is crucial to the U.S. Army's vision of a Sikorsky R-60 Black Hawk replacement that can carry troops into battle so quickly that enemy air defenses will not be able to react. By flying below or quickly past enemy radar, the SB-1 can minimize the opportunity for the rotorcraft to be detected, acquired, tracked and fired upon, he says. As part of the ongoing, competitive demonstration and risk reduction phase of FLRAA, the Sikorsky Boeing team is conducting trade studies with the U.S. Army to determine how adding or removing different features would impact the SB-1 speed, range and payload. The aircraft is undergoing a design review currently with the service.